Okay, it's day 40. It's my third update on this mystery plant series. So I'm using my Lux meter and I'm getting a maximum reading of about, you know, almost 14 to 15,000 uh, Lux and over here only 7,000. So especially in, in shade, you know, the further you go away and the further you go under an awning or any kind of uh, covering, the light drops off rapidly in terms of intensity. So as you can see, the plants look kind of stringy. They've been raised indoors up to this point, but I don't know if their appearance will change. I'm hoping it will so I can identify these more easily. It's day 50. They've been in the sun for like 11 days and this is what the leaves look like. Uh, these are new leaves. So they can get significantly bigger. You know, indoors I only had them at maybe 12,000 lux, and outside they're getting 120,000, so up to tenfold. But of course, that only lasts for, you know, maybe two hours a day, something like that. And, you know, I decided that I had to uproot these and do a transplant because these were all in a glass bowl. This was intended for my American ginseng seeds and this is just a really bad method of raising plants normally because there's no drainage so every time I water especially with hydrogen peroxide that generates gas it kind of causes a great upheaval and turns everything inside out and covers all the leaves with mud since this seems to be a ground creeping plant I was wrong earlier this thing doesn't grow very high at least uh, not in my hands so far under these conditions so that's what it looks like. The root systems aren't very deep. That's the other problem. The bowl keeps drying out because the soil is very um, porous. So it's just, you know, mineral soil. So the top layer dries out very quickly. And these plants have great trouble adapting. So they always tend to die if you don't water every single day or cover it with plastic wrap. But with plastic wrap, everything was molding over, so I decided to do this. I transplanted the two plants. I'm not sure if these two biggest plants will even survive because there's been a lot of cases of damping off in these seedlings, which occurs mostly in cool and moist conditions. It's basically caused by the invasion of pathogens, which causes the stems and petioles to pinch off and for all the leaves that die. So I'm using my Lux meter and I'm getting a reading of roughly 45,000 Lux. I'm hoping that under these new warm and very bright conditions everything can recover.